Good morning. Happy Friday. Welcome to Breakfast at Tiffany's. It is Friday, May 19th. And I think this might be episode 80 of Breakfast at Tiffany's. 79 or 80. I think it's 80. Um, so I've been doing this 80 Fridays in a row, uh, no matter where I am, even if I'm on vacation. So that's pretty good, I think. Um, I have my flowers this morning. My husband left me flowers for my yard. There's a, a lily in here and roses from a ro yellow rose bush we have. I have my Oreo back there. Oreo is there. And um, very soon I need to be changing that tree over. Because um, not this Sunday, but next Sunday uh, we'll have our Father's, uh, uh, Father's Day sale. So a lot of stuff for men um, coming up in that sale. And I haven't decided what um, Mrs. Goose is going to wear. Oh, Oreo's leaving us. Um, but, so I'm going to, and I'm not even sure what I'm going to do with the tree. I might just, since that's like the day before Memorial Day, I might just move into the patriotic decor for the tree. <laughs> so I don't really have Father's Day decorations for the tree, you know. So, anyway. It's been an interesting week. It's been a very uh, crazy week. It started with uh, Sun Saturday when I didn't get show the sales Saturday up on Saturday. I had to put it up on Sunday. Um, but I did, uh, my husband took me out on it. Sunday was Mother's Day, so I hope everyone had a great day. Um, my husband took me out on a dinner cruise, well, br brunch cruise. It was a late brunch cruise on the Potomac River down in, down in D.C., and that was just kind of an interesting day. Uh, a lot of traffic to get down there. We thought we were going to miss the boat. We were so late. And then the parking lot we wanted to park in was full. So we had to go to a different parking lot and hike it to the boat really fast, which I love, right? <laughs> if you know me, you know I do not hike, and I do not hike fast. So but it was interesting. So I was glad I wore sneakers, but when I got to the boat, I felt a little underdressed because everyone was dressed up in their Mother's Day finest, and I had on jeans and a sneaker and sneakers, but heck, at this point, you know, when you have to walk like that, I'm kind of glad I had my sneakers on, so. The food was good. It was a good, nice buffet. It was a little loud. They had a DJ and a dance floor in there, which I was not expecting, and it was a little loud, so we, after, as soon as we ate, we went back up on the deck and just sat up on the deck. The, the very top deck of the boat had a couch on it that we, that we sat on, which was kind of neat. So I like being on the water, but I realized that I need to be closer to the water, like to feel like the water lapping up around you. Like I was way up on the top. We couldn't really see the, the edge of the water. You can only see the distance. And I don't know, it was just, it wasn't the same feeling that I get when I'm like my soul gets very happy on the water. Like when we were taking little boats in Newfoundland and stuff, I was like, oh yeah, this is amazing. But I wasn't um, close to the water, so it was a different, different feel. So we probably won't do that particular boat or cruise again. It was really crowded and um, long lines to get onto the boat and then even to get seated for the meal very long lines to stand in but it was nice and I appreciate him doing that for me I didn't really get to see any of my I didn't get to see any of my kids on Mother Mother's Day um, but I did hear from them so that's nice um, what else oh uh, Monday I did a post about some flash fire fun facts about me that maybe you didn't know and one of the things I said was that I had a, that Andrew and I got married in a Civil War wedding. And I got some requests for wedding pictures. So I think I'm going to put those in the group this weekend. I haven't had a chance all week to get them up in the group, but I'm going to put them up this weekend, I think. Um, let me see. I can't remember what the second fact is I put in there. Hmm. I don't remember what the second fact is. But the third one I wrote was that I, I'm obsessed with alpacas. And if you've been following me at all, then you know that that's, that's true. Um, so, that was, uh, but I, and I have a picture of me with an alpaca too. <laughs> so maybe I'll put that in the group also. But um, then uh, Tuesday, I put up a post that was like, it's a fresh start. 
and I put up some real summer summer fun outfits there that I tagged that you could shop in our store for it. Really good, reasonable prices too, but you know we like that. And um, Wednesday, I asked if you were an early bird, a night owl, or whatever kind of bird thrives in the afternoon. And um, I am definitely, I don't want to say night owl, but I guess I would say I'm more a night owl, night owl than an early bird, and I'm definitely not a thriver in the afternoon. <laughs> I have been known to fall asleep at my desk around 2 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon, so that's not good. But um, I seem to get the second wind and get like really into stuff like around 9, 10 o'clock at night. Right when my husband's trying to go to bed, I'm really into whatever I'm doing. Really, <laughs> I'm like, I'll be up later. Um, I get really into what I'm doing, especially on the nights, um, of, nights of the week where he's not here. Like when he's not working, I mean, I will stay up working late. Um, and then yesterday I put up a reel. Uh, if you haven't seen it, you should watch it. And it shows me, um, it's a time-lapse video of me pulling all the sales, that have, all, all the items that have sold, shipping them all, and then um, going over and photographing a bunch of items. So it basically shows a day in my life, well, not even a whole day, but the store part of my day. So I start out, you know, I, I sit at my desk in the morning, do some, um, clean off the desk a little bit, kind of plan the day on the calendar, and then... And I'll kind of plan it depending on how much, how many items I have to ship and things like that. So I'll plan out the schedule on the calendar that morning. I tried doing it a week in advance, but it's hard to know because sometimes I might have nothing to ship. Sometimes I might have nine items to ship. Sometimes I might have two items to ship. So it's hard. And that's the first thing I have to do in the morning, really. So besides feed the cats and myself and stuff. So I, I found that coming down, sitting, coming downstairs feeding the cats, getting my breakfast, and sitting here while I'm eating my breakfast, planning my schedule for the day is better than me trying to plan plan it all on, plan the whole week on Sunday or something like that. So that's what I've decided works for me. So anyway, so first I sit here and do some stuff, go through emails, process any solds that, are, have, that have happened, and then I will go downstairs and I will start shipping. I'll have to pull all the items and then I'll ship. And then I will bring the packages up, put them outside for the mailman, male person, male woman, she's a woman. Um, and then I will go back downstairs and uh, photograph. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> oh, sorry. Sorry, I knew that was coming. Anyway, so I will usually photograph until about one, one-ish, one o'clock in the afternoon-ish. And then I'll come up, get some lunch, and I will sit at my computer and I'll um, log into my bookkeeping job and I will work three or four hours on that. And that's my typical day, except for Wednesdays, which is when I go to the office and do my bookkeeping job all day long. So then um, if I haven't already done any listing or things like that, I will do that in the evening after I'm done with my bookkeeping job. But if I... Um, have less shipping to do in the morning or something like that, then I might actually do the listing in the morning if, if uh, Lori has drafts available for me to list. So that's kind of my day in a nutshell, most of my days. And I put a little time-lapse reel there. It's kind of fun to watch. So it was like four, five hours and a minute and 30 seconds. So, <laughs> so uh, the only problem I had was when I was doing the time-lapse video, there was one point where my husband, my, not my husband, my son came downstairs in the basement, stood right in front of the camera with his back to the camera talking to me because he didn't realize the camera was rolling. So I did have to edit out those couple seconds where he's like blocking the camera. He was actually standing there for like three or five minutes even, maybe even talking to me. But in the time lapse, it's only like a few seconds. But I had to cut that out because you just had this body standing in front of the camera. So, but he had no idea the camera was running. But and I kind of forgot while I was talking to him too. But it was kind of funny. So anyway, I hope everybody has a great day. Um, I have to got go downstairs and after I do put this up Fridays, I have to do this first, and then I'll go shipping and then I'll um, do the photography photographing what I've been saying photographing lately instead of photographing 
I don't know why I keep doing that, but when I'll talk to my husband and I'll say, I'm doing the photographing. And he's like, I'm like, I don't know why I'm saying it like that. Photographing. Gosh. And then um, I'm going to have to come up and work more on our, my barcodes project because I'm working to barcode everything that we have in the store, um, especially the items that we're taking to Wine Fest. But um, might as well just do them all while, I got, while I'm doing it. So um, I'm hoping I can get some help. I've reached out to a college student that just came home for the summer to see if she will come help me. Um, in the weeks before the wine fest, you know, for a nominal fee, <laughs> because I need help getting all the stuff prepared to, uh, to take there. So anyway, that's what I'm going to be working on, uh, for the rest of the weekend, really focusing on trying to get that barcode project done and at least get those things printed so that if she comes, she can start labeling stuff and pulling, pulling the items for the sale. So anyway, oh, we're also going to do a test run. I don't know if we're going to do this this weekend or next weekend, but we're going to, I got a canopy for the wine fest and, um, I'm going to set it up in the backyard and put all the stuff, the furniture, the fixtures in it and like test run how I would set it up. So that's a whole project that might have to wait till next weekend or, or maybe the weekend before the wine fest, which is the first week in June. I don't know. But there's a lot of stuff to do. So much to do. Uh, my to-do list is still all in my head and I need to get it on paper. Because <laughs> there's a lot. Anyway, I hope everybody has a great day, great weekend, and I will see you soon. Bye.